Hello, my name is Tom Mooney from Charles Industries. Today we'll be going over the installation instructions for the Fiber Seal Drop Closure or FSDC. Shown are the recommended tools for the assembly of the FSDC. Use the flathead screwdriver to flip open all four latches that secure the FSDC lid. Allen screws are next. Loosen the two Allen screws with the supplied hex wrench so that the FSDC lid can then be opened. Scan the QR code inside the closure lid to download the FSDC installation procedures. Remove the bag of accessories from the closure. Undo the tray strap and pry the tray hinge to remove it from the hinge fixture. Use the supplied 5mm Allen wrench or a T-handled Allen wrench to loosen the express port sealing components. First the cable clamp, then the sealing grommet, finally the plastic inner grommet. A 3 16 inch Allen wrench can be substituted for the 5 mm wrench. The FSDC can accommodate cable diameters from 10 to 17.5 mm. Use the appropriate sealing grommet for the cable that is being installed. The express cable loop must be 6.5 feet to 7 feet in order to fit properly into the FSDC. Insert the cable loop into the FSDC through the express cable port. Observe caution to prevent any excess bending of the cable's buffer tubes. If using armored cable, and grounding is required, install approved bonding clamps on each side of the express cable loop. In this case, 3M4460D bonding clamps are being used. In preparation for installing the FSDC grommets, first open the two plastic grommet assemblies. Cut the rubber grommet on both sides so that it can be slipped over the express cable loop. Install the grommets and clamp onto the express cable loop. The rubber grommet is slipped over the two sides of the express cable loop. Then the inner grommet and cable clamp can be snapped over the cable. Slide the cable assembly into the FSDC, then push the clamp assembly into the express port. Insert the bonded cable into the FSDC, and if required, secure the strength member under the strength member clamp. Install the metal compression plate and tighten the Allen screws using the supplied 5mm Allen wrench. After separating the assigned buffer tube, loop and store this tube to prepare for coiling the expressed buffer tubes inside the FSDC. Coil the express buffer tubes around the fiber storage basket, being careful that the tubes are not kinked. The 6.5 to 7 foot express length of the tubes will fit around the basket.
Use cable ties to secure the expressed buffer tube coil around the fiber basket. The fiber coil should be stored below the edges of the FSTC. When using armored cable, attach a supplied cable bond strap to the ground feed through and then couple the two straps together at the bond clamp stud. All unused branch cable ports must be sealed with a plug and grommet. To seal the cable port, push the white plug through the grommet and then install the assembly into the port. Tighten the branch port plug with the supplied wrench. Install the splitter tray into the hinge fixture. The tray hinge can be pressed into place. The buffer tube loop can now be marked for tube removal. Loop the tube under the tray and mark the tube for removal at each corner of the tray. Pre-install the cable ties to allow for better fiber handling and management. Tighten the cable ties to securely attach them to the tray. Use a side cutter to trim the cable ties. Coil the fiber loop into the tray, making sure to place the fiber loop under the tabs. The cover can then be put in place. To facilitate the cover installation, pull up the tray at the cover holes and slide it under the tabs. Coil the splitter output tails inside the fiber storage basket and connect each fiber to the appropriate adapter. If required, install the second tray and secure with the provided strap. It is recommended that the supplied drop port tool be secured inside the FSDC for later use. Using the 5 mm Allen wrench, tighten the two hex screws at the corners of the FSDC. Flip the latches into position with a flat screwdriver and then snap each latch into position. For aerial installations, a bracket set must be attached to the back of the FSTC. The brackets are attached with the supplied bolts to the closure and tightened appropriately. To prepare for drop cable installation, first undo all four latches of the FSDC. Loosen the hex screws on the closure and open the cover.
Here, a rubber band was used to keep the one latch up and out of the way. Flip the trays open and use the strap to keep them out of the working area. Remove the drop port tool that will be used to install the first drop cable. Loosen and remove the drop plug and grommet. Remove the small insert in the drop plug. This insert must be reinstalled for proper sealing. In this application, the drop grommet must be slit to facilitate the installation of a pre-connectorized drop cable. Insert the drop cable through the drop port and connect it to the assigned adapter. Take care to protect the connector ferrule. Install the drop plug onto the cable, making sure to reinstall the small insert. It may be necessary to push the drop grommet into position. Use the drop plug tool to tighten the drop plug. Install a cable tie onto the drop cable, securing it to the drop plug. Tighten and trim the cable tie. Store the drop port tool for later drop installations. Place the trays into position and secure them with the strap. Always tighten the hex screws first before placing the latches into position. Thank you for watching. Should you have additional questions, please call the Charles Technical Support Team at 847-806-8500.